We're going to start momentarily, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for coming. <laughs> We're Canadian, we can brave the weather, right? Oui. On est tous Canadiens, on est quand même un, un pays d'hiver. Good evening, good afternoon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bonjour chers amis et bienvenue. Je suis ravie d'être ici avec vous tous. Good afternoon, friends, and welcome. My name is Eleanor McMahon. I am CEO of the Trans-Canada Trail and a board member of the Niagara 2022 Canada Summer Games. Very proud to be with you this afternoon. Je m'appelle Eleanor McMahon, je suis membre du Conseil Niagara 2022 et président directrice générale de Sentier Trans-Canadien, l'organisme qui gère le 28 km uh, Sentier Trans-Canadien, le plus long réseau de sentiers pour les au monde. Trans-Canada Trail is a proud co-host of the special journey of the 2022 Canada Games Torch Relay along the Trans-Canada Trail in Quebec following today's torch lighting. I would like to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the traditional unceded territory of the Algonquin and Anishinaabeg people. The Algonquin peoples have lived on this land since time immemorial. Nous sommes reconnaissants de pouvoir nous trouver sur ce territoire aujourd'hui. I am thrilled to act as your MC today. J'ai le plaisir d'être votre animatrice aujourd'hui lors de cette cérémonie d'allumage qui donnera le coup d'envoi au relais de la flamme des Jeux du Canada 2022. Dans quelques instants, nous allumerons le flambeau Rolly McClanahan à partir de la flamme du centenaire, ici, sur la colline parlementaire. At this time, I would like to recognize the dignitaries on the stage with me joining us here today. Elder Dan Ross from the Pequawknagon First Nation. Mathieu Fleury, conseiller et commissaire au sport de la ville d'Ottawa. Corté 12, Rideau Vanier. L'honorable Pascal saint onze ministre fédéral des sports. Jim Radley, chair of the Niagara Region. Evan Johnson, chair of the Canada Games Council. Canada Games alumnus Sam Effa. Doug Hamilton, chair of the Niagara 2022 Canada Summer Games, Louis Martel PDG, Canada Steamship Lines, Tristan Caldwell et Tristan Thompson, athlète de l'équipe Ontario, Team Ontario athletes Tristan Caldwell and Tristan Thompson, et les députés de tous les pays présents ici aujourd'hui, and last but not least, members of the House of Commons, and most particularly our MPs from the Niagara region, joining us here today. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous lever pour l'hymne national chanté par la chorale Lyrica, un ensemble vocal composé des enfants et des jeunes de la région Lutawe. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our national anthem performed by Children's Choir Choral Lyrica. Please stand. Thank you very much. Wasn't that lovely? I'd now like to invite to the microphone 
Elder Ross to bring greetings and the Indigenous land acknowledgement. Elder Ross. Miigwech and thank you. Miigwech, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a beautiful day. Mother Earth is having a shower, and that's okay. We can handle it. So, Bozu Mo Shamas, an Impke on a quad edition cause. My given name is Dan Ross. My spirit name is an Impke on a quad. And I am Algonquin, Pickwaknagon First Nations, my connection and my reserve, and Martin is my clan. It's an honor for me to be here today. And as mentioned, uh, especially the territory we're sitting and standing on here right now is part of the Algonquin unceded territory. I just thought I'd mention that. It's just uh, interesting. Um, so I thank the Creator for this day. I thank the Creator for the gift of life. And speaking of gifts, I thank the Creator for the gifts that He gives each one of us. And it's our responsibility to use these gifts. And especially when we do sports, and that's what we're here for today. We're talking about sports. We're talking about a torch run. We're talking about athletes doing what they do best. So it's very important that we're here and holding this ceremony to share with the athletes and support them in what they do. So I also want to thank those that walk, those that crawl, those that swim, those that fly, the seen and the unseen. They've been our teachers, teachers for time immoral. We learn from them. We learn how to raise our families. We learn how, how to work. We learn how to gather. There's so much. We don't worship these that I just mentioned, but we do give thanks to them and we do honor them because of the teachings that they give us as well. So, and I'd like to leave you with this. Every struggle, whether won or lost, strengthens us for the next to come. It is not good for people to have an easy life. We become weak and inefficient when they cease to struggle. Some need a series of defeats before developing the strength and courage to win a victory. I'll leave that with you. Chimi Gwech, thank you. Merci, Anne Ross. Thank you, Elder Ross. And um, I'd like to uh, share with you a gift of tobacco as a token of our appreciation and our thanks for blessing us. Chimi Gwech, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Always a teacher. Thank you so much, Elder Ross. I'm now delighted to welcome to the podium, bringing us greetings to the City of Ottawa, Councillor Mathieu Fleury. Bienvenue. Bon après-midi à tous et à toutes. Comment allez-vous dans la pluie? Vous survivez? I really felt as we were approaching the stage with the dignitaries, which I want to recognize, uh, the energy of sport, the energy here in our great capital city. Elder Ross, thank you very much. Yes, Ottawa is an unceded uh, Algonquin territory. La ville d'Ottawa reconnaît la part innombrable du passé et du présent et de l'avenir des communautés métisses, des communautés inuites et des communautés des Premières Nations. Je vois quelques athlètes olympiques, puis c'est important pour moi, uh, comme commissaire du sport d'Ottawa, de les reconnaître davantage. On a Adam Vancouverton, puis on a Sam Effa, qui sont deux athlètes uh, qui ont compétitionné aux Jeux olympiques en portant la bannière du Canada. Adam, Sam, thank you so much. I'm privileged to be up here uh, on behalf of the City of Ottawa as Ottawa Sport Commissioner. To, uh, Ottawa, as you know, plays an important role, not only for us locals, but it plays an important role as our capital city. And right behind you, a few minutes from now, you will see two local athletes. Two Tristans, let me introduce them. So we, we do have Tristan Thompson and Tristan Caldwell, both from Ottawa, one from Nepean and one from Gloucester who will be uh, lighting up the torch on behalf of, obviously, the Canada Games Council and, and really launching the torch ceremony. 
it's exciting for us as Ottawa to be this, the start of, of the, uh, the torch relay. Um, we, we are really proud of our local athletes who will be competing in Niagara and our friends from Niagara. Uh, I see Mr. Bradley and, and uh, I know how well they'll be welcomed in the Niagara region starting August 6th. So, 6th. so we're quite excited. We'll be here again for our winter partners. So I know that PEI will be the host in 2023. So we're glad as well to be part of, of that launch in, uh, en, en 2023. Alors, euh, évidemment, à nos athlètes, bonne chance, uh, that you'd be local or not, that Canada Games is really an amazing opportunity for us to really support uh, local athletes across the country, our young athletes, to give them games experience, to get to know Canadians who are competing in their sports and in other sports uh, as they compete this summer in Niagara. And obviously, we're all hopeful that one day we see them, we see them on the national scene, on the international scene, and perhaps one day holding a medal. Alors, bonne chance, félicitations. Thank you, Mathieu, merci. Held once every two years, alternating between winter and summer, the Canada Games are the largest multi-sport event in the country for Canadian amateur athletes. The organization of the Canada Games is made possible through the tireless dedication of local host societies and the contribution and support of the federal provincial, territorial, and host municipal governments, community volunteers, of course, and sport and corporate partners. Accueillons chaleureusement l'honorable Pascal Saint-Onge, Ministre des Sports du Gouvernement du Canada. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, warmly, Canada's Minister of Sport, the Honorable Pascal Saint-Onge. Madame la Ministre. Merci, uh, Eleanor Elder Ross. Les honorables invités, mon ami uh, Adam Vancouverden, all my friends, the, MT, the MPs uh, from all parties that came to celebrate uh, this wonderful day. What an exciting day. The start of the 2022 Canada, Summer Canada Games is almost here, and I am really excited to share this moment with you. The Canada Games torch will be lit from the centen uh, centennial flame, and it will start its journey along the Trans-Canada Trail down the St. Lawrence Seaway and through the beautiful Niagara region. Le relais du flambeau des Jeux du Canada, c'est une, tradi une tradition symbolique. Il incarne l'esprit des Jeux. Il nous unit au nom de l'excellence sportive et de la compétition amicale. En passant de main en main jusqu'à l'ouverture des Jeux du Canada, le flambeau nous rappelle la magie du sport qui nous rassemble. Il nous rappelle la discipline, mais aussi la persévérance des athlètes, des para-athlètes et des athlètes des Jeux olympiques spéciaux et leur long parcours jusqu'aux Jeux. Il nous rappelle aussi que le sport est au cœur même de notre identité et des valeurs communes auxquelles nous sommes tous attachés. Our government is committed to supporting amateur sport across the country and Canadian sport from the playground to the podium. This is why we are the largest single contributor to sport in Canada, and we are providing over 12 million in funding to support the Niagara 2022 Canada Summer Games Host Society. But this investment, yes. <laughs> but this investment is more than just these games. C'est en réalité un investissement dans un événement qui offre aux jeunes athlètes entraîneurs et aussi les officiels, des expériences d'entraînement et aussi de compétition de haut niveau qui, leur, qui les préparent pour les autres compétitions sur, euh, à l'échelle nationale ou internationale. Ce sont aussi des événements qui inspirent toute la population canadienne à adopter un mode de vie qui est plus sain, qui est actif et aussi qui nous apprend comment dé dépasser et atteindre nos objectifs et nos rêves. La tenue des, des preuves sportives de grande envergure, comme les Jeux d'été du Canada à Niagara, entraîne des retombées directes pour les communautés sur les plans sportifs, économiques, culturels et sociaux. And we know that these games will help strengthen our sense of pride across the country. I can't wait for these games to start. So, let's light the path to Niagara. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Madame la Ministre. Thank you very much, Minister. That was inspiring. 
From August 6 to 21st, as the minister mentioned, the Niagara region will welcome more than 5,000 participants competing in 18 different sports for the Niagara 2022 Canada Summer Games. Accueillons maintenant Jim Bradley, président de la région de Niagara, qui nous transmet les bons vœux de la région. Please welcome to the podium, Niagara Regional Chair, Jim Bradley. Jim. Uh, thank you, merci. Uh, Madame et Monsieur, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, young people who are here today, on behalf of the Niagara Region, I'm pleased to welcome you all to join us in August of this year for the Young Canada Games. Uh, many will mention on the stage today that the athletes that we will be viewing over that period of time, the two weeks in uh, the Regional Municipality of Niagara, are those we will see on the Olympic stage in years to come. And so we see them in their formative years. We welcome not only the athletes, and we hope that you will enjoy the games taking place, we welcome you also to Niagara and to enjoy many of the amenities that we have, including it, as you know, as wine country and uh, great tourist attractions that are there in Niagara, and we want all of you to enjoy those. I want to thank particularly the organizing committee. I want to thank uh, Sport Canada uh, and the contribution made by both our federal and provincial government to help make these, uh, these games a success. There's a living leg legacy as well. Mention was made of the operating funding, but there's legacy funding as well. Uh, projects uh, across the region, which will be there for many, many decades to come for all to enjoy. And so welcome. A nos amis que parle français, bienvenue à Niagara. Merci, Jim. Même en bon français. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Jim, very much. The Canada Games strengthen the fabric of Canada through the power of sport by sparking greatness in the next generation of athletes and leaders and creating enduring legacies that transform communities from coast to coast to coast. To bring greetings on behalf of the Canada Games Council, please welcome Evan Johnson. Mesdames et Messieurs, le Président du Conseil d'administration des Jeux du Canada, Monsieur Evan Johnson, the Canada Games Council Board Chair. Evan Johnson. Bonjour tout le monde. Thank you, Eleanor. Today, from the centennial flame, the Rolly McLenahan will be sparked, symbolizing how the Canada Games spark greatness in the next generation of athletes on and off the field of play. Named after Rolly McLenahan because of his lifelong commitment to youth and their participation in sport, the lighting of the torch is a key event in the lead up to each Canada Games. This relay is of special significance because of the unique journey the torch is taking through the Trans-Canada Trail and by water en route to Niagara for the opening of the 2022 Canada Summer Games. Thank you to Canada Steamship Lines and the Trans-Canada Trail for your support to make the 2022 Canada Games torch relay a truly memorable experience. The lighting of the torch from the centennial flame, which represents every province and territory in Canada, is a fitting reminder of how the Canada Games has sparked greatness from coast to coast to coast. By leaving a lasting legacy of sport facilities, volunteerism, community pride, and national unity, the Canada Games has transformed communities since the first Games in 1967. Congratulations to Doug Hamilton, Barry Wright, your board of directors, staff and volunteers. In 61 days, you will welcome the nation and shine a spotlight on the Niagara region and Canada's next generation of national, international, Olympic, Paralympic, and Special Olympics champions. May the spirit of the centennial flame spark greatness in the torch relay and for the athletes competing in the Canada Summer Games. Merci. Thank you, Evan. Merci. Inclusive of all athletes, we are united through sport. The Canada Games impact can be felt in every aspect of Canadian life. Accueillons ensemble Sam Effa, a sprinter Canadian who has represented notre pays lors des Jeux du Commonwealth. Sam is an ancien des Jeux du Canada, double médaillé d'or aux Jeux d'été en 2009, and he has recently been nommé co-chef de mission d'équipe Canada 
pour les Jeux du Commonwealth de 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium Canada Games alumnus and double gold medalist in athleticism in 2009, Sam Effa. <laughs> I'm not sure how to uh, follow up that introduction, but thank you. Uh, bonjour, hello. Uh, my name is Sam Effa. I'm a two-time Canadian champion in track and field. I am a sprinter. If you watch TV, I was on the Amazing Race Canada in 2019, a little plug. <laughs> As she mentioned, I am the co-chef de mission for the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. And most proudly, a Canada Games alumni. <laughs> now, <clears throat> since we're talking about Canada Games, I want to take you guys into that race. I still remember. I ran the 200 meters, the four by one. I'm in PEI. I walk to the line. You know, these games are amazing. The crowd is quiet. This feels like an Olympics, a World Championships, a Commonwealth Games. I get to the line. Your heart is beating. All you hear is on your marks, set, boom, the gun goes off. <laughs> I'm running that 200 meters. I'm nervous, but you run 40 meters, 60 meters, 80 meters. This is a 200 meters, so I still got a little to go. <laughs> I get to the 150 meter mark. I saw nobody around me, 190 meters. I see that line and I lean. This is the Canada Games. I absolutely love these games because this is where it started for me. <clears throat> yes, in those games, I broke the 200 meter record and it still stands, so I'm hoping somebody breaks it, you know, this year. But it's more than just sprinting. It's the venues, it's the staff, it's the volunteers, it's everybody who comes together. I am a proud Albertan, I'm sorry, Ontario. <laughs> but I do love the interprovincial competition. Mm -hmm. It's Ontario versus Alberta versus Saskatchewan. And if you come, when you come to Niagara, you will not be disappointed. This is more than just the games. This is about the legacy. This is about the next generation. And this is where it all got started. Not only am I uh, proud to be a leader in the social impact space, proud to be representing Canada as a, a co-chef de mission at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, UK. I heard somebody say Alabama. Nope. <laughs> but I am so incredibly proud to be a Canada Games alumni. And I cannot wait to see you in Niagara. See you there. Thank you, Sam. Merci. What an inspirational speech, Sam. That was fantastic. <laughs> Hard to follow, I might add, but really inspiring. I, I, just a little program note. At 4 o'clock, there's going to be a little construction blast, so we're, blast, so we're going to stop for a, a millisecond because Parliament Hill's under construction, as most of you can see. So we'll be stopping very, very briefly. It says that in my notes, so I wanted to be true to my script. <laughs> Before every Canada Games, a torch relay takes place with the Roly McLenahan torch traveling part of the country as it makes its way to the host city for the opening ceremony. J'invite maintenant Doug Hamilton, président du conseil d'administration, à transmettre les salutations de la Société hôtesse des Jeux du Canada 2022 et à présenter un partenaire clé dans les Jeux d'été du Canada. Accueillons chaleureusement Doug Hamilton. I now invite to the podium Doug Hamilton, Chair of the Board of Directors of the 2022 Niagara Canada Summer Games, who will also introduce one of our game's special partners, Doug. Thank you, owner, and good afternoon. I can't imagine, though, that that construction blast in a few minutes that we're going to hear will be any more uh, exciting than the announcement of the gun that Sam fired off a few minutes ago. <laughs> It's a pleasure to join all of you in our nation's capital, standing in front of our iconic parliament buildings, representing the Niagara 2022 Canada Summer Games for this very special occasion. This afternoon's torch lighting ceremony is the culmination of years of hard work for many in Niagara and the beginning of a final step in our journey. 
For several years, we've been preparing to host the Canada Games. And although the pandemic delayed us by a year, and you'll see some of our beautiful blue jackets still out there wearing the proudly the 2021 Canada Games, the pandemic's responsible for that. Uh, it has also made us even more eager to host a Canada Games that will see the return to sport for so many of our athletes who have had really a pause in their athletic uh, careers and, and we're really eager to see them come back to Niagara to begin those careers again. But also to bring Canadians back together and to, to celebrate what promises to be a very spectacular celebration in Niagara. And today we begin a, begin a, a final step in our jury, journey towards that celebration. Over the next two months, uh, the Rolly McClenahan Canada Games Torch will travel approximately 1,200 kilometers by bike, by boat, by foot, before arriving at the opening ceremony for the Niagara 2022 Canada Games two months from today. So two months today, Beth. 61 days, three hours, eight minutes, and some odd seconds. <laughs> The 1,200 kilometer journey will start with the torch being carried by bike for the next eight days along the Trans-Canada Trail to Montreal. Then in partnership with Canada's Steamship Lines, the presenting sponsor of our torch relay program, the torch will board a CSL ship in Montreal, travel by water for the first time in Canada Games history, along the St. Lawrence Seaway to Niagara. This part of the journey on the Seaway is really a tribute to the historical significance of water to our country as a means of transportation across Canada and through Niagara. Following its voyage on the CSL ship, the torch will disembark at one of our world's greatest engineering mar marvels, the Welland Canal, before visiting each of Niagara's 12 local municipalities in the lead up to the game's opening ceremony. At the opening ceremony, the torch will ignite the cauldron once again and officially start what is the 28th edition of the Canada Games, where we'll witness the next generation of Canada's next generation of national and international sport championships. So much like they did in 2009 when those attending the Canada Games and PEI watched Sam race to a pair of gold medals for Team Alberta and watched and cheered as he <laughs> struggled to the line. Sam, thank you for your contribution, by the way. We'll make sure that the 200 meters at our games is run into the wind so your record stays intact. Thank you. And in 1997, when the future four-time Olympic medalist Adam Vancouverden won a bronze medal for Ontario at the Canada Games, which sparked an incredible, successful Olympic career. The spectacular journey for our torch would not be possible without our presenting sponsor, Canada's Steamship Lines, represented here today by CEO Louis Martel, who I'll introduce in a moment. But I want to first thank Louis and CSL for making this spectacular vision possible. We're extremely grateful for your support and for the support of this tor torch relay program and the games itself, so thank you. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Eleanor for the Trans-Canada Trail for helping us guide the torch from here to Montreal. Many Canadians and communities along the trail between here and Montreal will have a unique opportunity to share in the excitement of the Canada Games Thanks to Eleanor and the trans Canada Trail, so thank you very much. You. Importantly, I want to also recognize our Niagara 2022 team, many of whom have joined us today. I'm very honored to speak on behalf of our tremendous team, our talented board of directors, our dedicated team of, of, of staff, our team of 400 planning volunteers who have been working for several years now to organize the games, and then the 5,000 volunteers that we're currently recruiting and training and eagerly awaiting to, to, to host the games in just those eight weeks' time. Finally, I'd like to thank our funding partners, the Government of Canada, represented today by our Minister of Sport, Honor, Honorable Pascal Saint Ange, sorry, Saint Ange. <laughs> Pascal, thank you. Uh, the Government of Ontario, the Canada Games Council, Niagara Region, presented by uh, Chair Jim Bradley. And importantly, the 12 local municipalities of Niagara, represented here today by Mayor Walter Senzik of the City of St. Catharines. Thank you. Thank you all. And finally, I have the, the opportunity and the honor of uh, introducing Louis. We are, as I mentioned, very honored to partner with a company like CSL that has made such a tremendous contribution to the growth of our country going back long before the 1970s, when our former Prime Minister Paul Martin was CEO of the CSL Group. 
The tremendous contribution that CSL made has, to their country is now echoed in the contribution that you're making to the Canada Games, so thank you very much. Louis has been part of CSL for 25 years, starting as a naval architect, working up to being coming and progressing to CEO, and one of his many achievements at CSL including, includes the CSL's design of their Trillium-class fleet, including the CSL Welland, which is an industry leader in the use of biofuel, and is also the ship that uh, CSL uh, painted an incredible mural on this year of the four runners in recognition of their partnership with the Canada Games, so thank you. So I'd like to welcome and introduce Louis. Thank you very much. As Louis makes his way to the podium, we're going to have the big bang in a second. <laughs> Don't want anyone to be thrown off their game. So Louis, okazu, just in case. Right Merci. Right. <laughs> and Sam, no bolting, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so th thanks, Doug. Thank you to the athletes who are here today, to our distinguished guests and the media for taking the time to share with us the first step in what promises to be a very exciting and historic Canada game torch relay. CSL is extremely honored to be part of all of this. J'aimerais premièrement remercier l'équipe des Jeux du Canada d'avoir donné à CSL l'occasion de s'associer à un projet aussi marquant dans la vie de nos jeunes athlètes et de leur communauté. Nos jeunes sportifs, qui bientôt participeront dans 20 disciplines à travers la région du Niagara, seront poussés à relever les défis personnels et à se dépasser dans un esprit de collaboration, d'inclusion et d'intégrité. Le sport renforce des traits comme la résilience, la détermination, la ténacité, qui sont aussi des qualités que partagent nos membres d'équipage lorsqu'ils opèrent nos navires. Le transport maritime est effectivement comme un sport d'équipe où chaque membre en mer et à terre contribue à faire ces immenses machines de façon sécuritaire, efficace et éco-responsable. Earlier this year, we unveiled a colossal mural on the Balker Carrier, Ball Carrier CSL Wellen, created by four Canadian top young artists who capture the spirit of the game. The forerunners in the morale reflect the broad mix of people, culture, background, and ability in amateur sport today. As the torch makes its way to Montreal along the Trans-Canada Trail, we look forward to making Canada Games and Great Lakes shipping history when the CSL saint Laurent, the sister ship of the CSL Wallen, will carry the traditional torch along the St. Lawrence Seaway all the way to Port Coburn. Like your sister ship, the CSL Saint-Laurent is also adorned with a beautiful mural and is running on what we call a pure B100 biofuel made entirely from waste plant material. Working to find solutions toward a zero carbon future is a priority at CSL. The success of using biofuel on CSL Wallen, CSL Saint-Laurent and other CSL ships has demonstrated the viability and practicality of this green alternative in support of decarbonization of the shipping industry. In, close, in closing, we applaud the team from Canada Games for giving CSL the opportunity to celebrate our young athlete and for putting a spotlight on the beautiful waterways and at the heart of the Niagara region. When the water leg of the torch relay begins in two weeks, I invite you all to follow the historical journey of the CSL Saint Laurent from Montreal to the Niagara region and also to look at the CSL Wallen on which the runners and the legacy of the Niagara 2022 Canada Games will live on. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Louis. Thank you very much. Merci, Doug. Thank you. Maintenant, j'invite Sam Afa, ancien des Jeux du Canada, ainsi que Tristan Thompson et Tristan Caldwell, athlètes de l'équipe de l'Ontario, qui participeront aux Jeux d'été de Niagara 2022 à s'avancer près de la flamme du centenaire pour allumer le flambeau Rolly McClenahan des Jeux du Canada. And I'll invite Sam Effa and two of our team Ontario athletes, Tristan Thompson and Tristan Caldwell, to light the torch and begin this very important part of our ceremony. Pour la première fois depuis 1985, le cross revient au programme des Jeux d'été du Canada cette année. Il s'agit d'une étape de réconciliation importante pour les peuples autochtones et pour notre pays. In so doing, I would like to note that lacrosse is returning to the Canada Games since 1985, part of our country's truth and reconciliation commitments. Yes. 
That's right. We. Yay, Sam! Bravo! On va prendre des photos, a few photos. Non, pas du tout. Pas du tout. Tristan Thompson is competing in girls box lacrosse, by the way, and 17-year-old Tristan Caldwell will be competing in boys box lacrosse. The two Tristans, ladies and gentlemen, from Ottawa, with lacrosse coming back to the Canada Games since 1985. Un bon retour. Merci. Merci les deux. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, nous déclarons le relais de la Flamme du Jeu du Canada 2022, maintenant lancé. We now declare the 2022 Canada Summer Games Torch Relay officially underway. <laughs> Over the next 61 days, the torch will burn brightly in anticipation of the Niagara 2022 Canada Summer Games opening ceremony. Le flambeau sera transporté jusqu'au Centre Transcanadien derrière l'édifice de la Confédération pour le départ officiel du Relais de la Flamme. Ladies and gentlemen, the flame will now be transported uh, along the western part of the parliamentary precinct behind the Confederation building and onto the Trans-Canada Trail. The spirit of connection, community, joy, and hope which underpin the Canada Games is also the essence of the 28,000-kilometer Trans-Canada Trail the world's longest. Le sentier est un symbole d'unité, un chemin qui sillonne tout le pays et relie 15,000 communautés, dont la belle ville d'Ottawa. I'd like to take a moment to introduce five of our torchbearers. First, please hold your applause to the end, which we welcome. The Honourable Pascal Saint-Onge, Minister of Sport and Minister Responsible for the Economic Development Agency of Canada for the regions of Quebec. The Minister spoke earlier. Le député Adam Vancouverden, secrétaire parlementaire de la ministre des Sports. Kayakis de renommée, champion olympique et ancien des Jeux du Canada, le député Adam Vancouverden est bien placé pour savoir que le sport peut nous rassembler et nous inspirer à nous dépasser. Adam Vancouverden, MP. Next, I'd like to introduce Michael Lindsay, chair of the Trans-Canada Trail Board of Directors, in his day job, Michael is the CEO of Infrastructure Ontario, and so he understands a little bit about making our communities safer and better for everyone, and that is reflected as, as his passionate belief and his tremendous championship for the Trans-Canada Trail, our beautiful national trail. Thank you, Michael. Next is Emma Mons, also a director of the Trans-Canada Trail Board, a lawyer here in Ottawa. Emma is a proud member of the Wikwumkung unceded territory of Manitoulin Island. 
Her own journey on the trail began with her first marathon along the Petit Tines Nord in Quebec, and she makes a point of discovering new sections of the trail each time she travels. Thank you, Emma. Merci, Emma. So we'd invite you to stand up and please come forward, our trail, um, our, our torch relay partners. Last but certainly not least, Maria Danilenko from Ukraine, incidentally, ladies and gentlemen. Maria is a mechanical engineer and has been a part of the Canada Steamship Line for over 16 years. She works on projects like building new cargo ships and implementing digital technologies on vessels. As a busy mom of three children, how do you do it? And a multi-sport enthusiast, Enthusiast Maria has also served 10 years to, for her country as a medical technician in the Canadian Armed Forces Reserve, attaining the rank of Master Corporal. Merci, Maria Danilenko, Canada Steamship Lines. Merci beaucoup. So before we get going, I've been asked to um, take a special photo of everyone. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, on va prendre une photo juste ici, euh, photo officielle ici, à côté du podium. Alors, veuillez vous rassembler ici, tout le monde. Merci. Please follow our team's guidance for setup. You can come onto the stage if you like. It might make it easier for the photographers. Ready to run in the rain? Uh, you know? Do you want them down here or you want them up here? Hey, Eleanor, can we get the MPs to come up the stairs on the stage? Excuse me, we want the MPs on yeah, the Yeah, yeah. See a better, better looking photo? Something a little different? Well, you're a little higher. Louis, how you doing? Hey, Tony! Tony, come on up here. Yeah, Tony, come on. Where's Tony? Does anybody have anybody out there taking a picture of this that we could get? Tony, you got to get your cue, yeah. man. you got to get oh, your cue. What kind of politician is this in the photo? <laughs> Michelle and I were talking old GM stories. <laughs> Thank you, MPs. It's a busy day in the house. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. All the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know uh, good wines, good pizza, good people. Uh, you guys are doing this. Where's Maria? Oh. Now, Maria, over here at the podium. You can't see me. <laughs> I want to invite you to please start the torch relay and lead us on our way. 
Our route along the Capitol Pathway, part of the Trans-Canada Trail, will take us along the Ottawa River towards the locks, where we will have an opportunity for some pageantry and picture taking right by the Bytown Museum before sending the flame along its journey on the Trans-Canada Trail. The leg of the torch relay, or this leg, will be 30 to 45 minutes uh, walk from here. So thank you for joining us today. Merci de vous joindre à nous aujourd'hui. Nous invitons à notre suivre jusqu'au sentier transcanadien où débutera le relais de la flamme. Ce parcours du relais du flambeau nous amènera le long de la rivière d'Ottawa et près de la musée Bytown. Les médias auront l'occasion de prendre des photos et de mener des entrevues. Merci encore. Let's have a good time, people. Oh, you want another photo?